And we are going to work on some half and half self portraits. So today's intro is a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead first and tell you guys what material materials, excuse me, you're going to need. And then we'll get into our introduction and get started on our next piece. So today you are going to need, uh, again, you can pick the markers, the colored pencils, the crayons. Um, you feel free to use the oil pastels if you want. Just remember we do have projects that we need to use those for next uh, in the next couple weeks, as well as the watercolors. So we kind of want to refrain from using those until we have to, but if you want to, you have that creative freedom. Uh, you want to make sure you like your pencil and that it's sharpened. You need your construction paper, specifically the white paper in there. Um, your ruler. We have not used the ruler yet, so make sure you have that out and ready to go. And then a, one of our scrap pieces of paper. So remember when I originally showed you we had the magazine or the extra zoo books and then we have the fancy paper back here. Don't use those just yet. Uh, you want to make sure you're using the paper on the opposite side of the zoo book or magazine. All right. Well, this is why I wanted to do our introduction a little bit differently. Since we're doing a self-portrait, which means you are going to be drawing yourself, I wanted you to take just some time to brainstorm who you are. So what you're gonna do on your scrap paper, we're gonna plan out a little bit differently in terms of art. Uh, I want you to go ahead and make two boxes, because we're gonna come up with two different lists. And if you need a parent or guardian to help you out writing this, that's completely fine. Uh, no, we're not judging on spelling or anything like that as long as you know what you're talking about. So there's my two boxes. And on the left side, I want you to brainstorm words uh, or phrases that describe how you look on the outside. So if someone who doesn't know you wants to see you across the room, what are some things that make your appearance unique? What are some things that they would notice about you right off the bat? So I'm gonna go ahead and put outside. Label that one box outside. I go backwards, that one says outside. And then the other box, I'm gonna write inside. And that's the box that you are going to write out. What are some words that your friends would use to describe you on the inside. So as a person, how would they describe you as a friend? How would they describe you as a sister, son, brother, cousin, any of those types of relationships, someone that really knows you on the inside, what are some words they would use to describe you? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do mine real quick and then I'm gonna give you guys some time on a timer to complete your brainstorm. So on the outside, I usually have a braid in my hair, mostly because I don't know how to do my hair, so I'm gonna write braid. Um, I'm tall. Let's see, I usually, even in my classroom when I'm teaching, I usually um, wear some pretty plain colored clothing. I don't wear a lot of patterns or anything. So I'm gonna put plain, nothing wrong with that. Let's see, uh, I have green eyes. I know it's hard to see there, but they're very green, especially in the sunlight. I have a big smile, I've been told that a few times. Hmm. Do one more. And I like to run, so I would say that like, I try to keep yeah, moving, so I'm gonna put running. Usually people will see me, I'm usually running in the neighborhood. So that's my outside box. And now my inside box, again, going back to what will my friends say. I think some people would say I'm creative. Funny, if I do say so myself. I don't know if my husband would agree, but I think I'm pretty funny. Um, unique. Helpful. I like to help out my students all the time and my friends and family whenever they need it. Caring. I take very good care of my dogs. Uh, I'm going to try to think of one more. I would say that I am very bright. 
I like a lot of bright colors. Although I dress pretty plainly, I like to wear bright colors usually, so I stand out. Uh, I really like bright colored shoes, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. All right, so there is mine. And I would love to see your brainstorms. Even after we do this piece, I would love to hear what you guys came up with or what you and your parent or guardian or brother or sister, whatever you guys came up with for you, I want to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a timer and then you are going to fill in your two boxes. Now, we're going to use our brain, this is how we're going to use our brainstorm. So I'm going to put this to the side because I'm going to use it in just a second. And I'm going to take out another piece of white paper. Remember, I know there's, I think, just a handful of white paper in there, but you can always use our scratch paper as well. Um, or you can use any of the construction paper colors. I just don't want to use all of them. Oops, no, it went, went the wrong way. Um, because again, we're going to have some things later where I want you to have to different colors to choose from and stuff like that. So but I've got my paper here. Um, you're going to take your ruler and you are going to draw a line down the middle. So you might want to fold your paper in half. I'm not good at measuring things, so I figure that's a foolproof way to figure out where the middle is. And then I'm going to just lightly, it doesn't have to be a dark line, draw a line down the middle. Now, the idea of a half and half self-portrait is not only how um, others see you, but also a reflection of how you see yourself. So that's kind of why we did the inside thing. So there are a couple of things in there that I don't know for sure my friends or family might say, just because there's other ways to describe me. 
However, those are the things I aim for and I hope for. So, uh, for example, caring. Like, I know I take good care of my dogs um, because I love them very much and they need me very much. Um, but again, that's something I aim for. And so if someone was to ask me how I see myself on the inside, that's not something someone could guess just by seeing me on the outside. So here is the half and half, all right? So what I want you to imagine is from your shoulders and your face on that page. So I'm gonna do kind of like a half circle just to kind of get started. Right in like the bottom third, I would say. I round out my shoulders see that there the bottom and then I'm gonna give myself a neck I kind of want up a little high that's okay and then I'm gonna use that center mark to make the center of my face half of the page is gonna be the outside so what I actually look like and then the in uh, the other side of my page is gonna be those things that we described for the inside so I'm gonna start with the outside part of my portrait and let's see, I'm gonna try and mimic what I look like today. I'm gonna to go with this side is gonna have my braids. Since I mentioned I always have a braid in my hair, something my students always, always notice. So I'm gonna just, my hair's always pulled back in some, some, some capacity. So I usually have some stragglers on the other side, but for the most part, I got my braid. Um, don't do what I did. I accidentally put some stragglers on the other side. Remember, that's going to be our inside. So uh, really focus on just your half of the page. So I'm still focusing on the side of my braid. I'm going to give myself an eye. And when I go to color it, I want to make sure I use that green because we talked about how that's something someone might notice about me is that I have green eyes, give myself a nose, and then a smile. And then the other side, though, is where I'm gonna start focusing. And this is a little bit more creative, a little bit more abstract. You can either write the words, you can draw things that have to do with that. So I'm gonna start with creative, and I'm just going to I love to write. Um, I like writing different things, whether it be poetry or short stories. So I'm gonna put some type in my, on my left side. Some random letters. Um, let's see, I'm bright, so that might be, I use a sun. Suns are bright. And right now I'm just, sketching on this. So I'm not draw drawing very dark. I'm pushing down very heavy on my pencil. And then we said I'm caring, so I'm gonna put some hearts. I'm below, so we'll know that I am, yep, caring all around. Let's see. Unique, so I'll probably just use some different colors and kind of mix things up there. Uh, funny. Laughing emoji, and then let's see, and then helpful. I don't really know what I want to use for helpful. I could either write the word or maybe some shaking hands. Some shaking. Okay. I didn't put this on there, but there's no reason why I can't. Um, since I did mention that I'm a teacher, I kind of want to put something about being a teacher in there because you wouldn't know just looking at me, but that is a huge part of who I am. Um, and so I think I'm gonna put an apple. All right. And again, I don't, um, you can kind of do whatever you want. If you just want to do patterns on your side that represent you, symbols, images, numbers, letters, words, phrases, that's on uh, up to you. So I'm gonna show you what I have right now is just a basic sketch. Again, pretty basic. I have my braid down here. I think I'm going to give myself on that side where my braid is, the outside portion. I'm going to give myself a running shirt because uh, I wanted to mention that I was a runner. So maybe I'll put like my bib number on there. So, like in races, you have to wear like a, a number on your shirt. I'll give myself like a, a collar. 
okay? And then I think on the other side, the inside portion of me, and maybe I'll do something a little bit simpler uh, because again, um, I like to wear plain colored clothes. As you can see, I'm wearing just a plain blue shirt. Um, and I think that although on the outside I might be wearing like running stuff like that, I also like to keep things pretty basic. So I'm gonna give myself just a normal t-shirt. I'm gonna probably put some cool designs on there. Maybe give myself like a necklace. All right, and there you have it. Uh, I am going to go through and color this. I think though for something kind of like this, it really benefits to see other examples. So I'm going to have um, someone put in the examples for you to see. Uh, but again, uh, just really working on that outside versus inside and really showing all aspects of your personality because you're all individuals and unique and it's amazing. So let's celebrate it through our art. Thanks guys, see you tomorrow.